up YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to episode 3 of A12 Jailbreak Watch where we discuss the development status of the iOS 12.4 A12 Jailbreak. Of course there's already a jailbreak for all other devices. If you happen to miss that, it's in your cards now as well as down below in the description. We're talking about the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, and 2018 iPad Pro models, all of which are of course awaiting a jailbreak. Also be sure to watch the second episode in this series. It's cram packed with information and covers everything you need to know up until this point, also linked below and on your screens now. Now in today's video, we're really only going to cover two things. It's going to be super quick. So hacker pwned to own the developer behind the uncovered jailbreak tweeted out earlier today, quote, successfully got the unsigned code execution method I got working with Jake James implemented in the jailbreak. I can now arbitrarily execute unsigned binaries and run sideloaded apps with expired certificates on A12 through A12X without PAC bypass, which of course was previously needed for the very first iOS 12, A12 jailbreak, which worked up to iOS 12.1.2. So this is something completely new that may actually revolutionize jailbreaks. I don't want to get too excited on it just yet because of course he hasn't released it, but it looks like he might be getting close because he followed that up saying, quote, next step is remounting root FS or root file system without PAC bypass. Once that's done, you know what comes next with a winking face. So guys, it looks like significant progress has been made, but it has yet to be released. And of course we don't have any official ETA. Just let Pwn do his thing guys, don't harass him. And hopefully we should have an A12 jailbreak very, very soon. The future is looking very bright for the possibility of a brand new jailbreak for brand new devices on what is still currently the latest public firmware as of recording this video. I for one am incredibly excited. Of course, there's going to be a fourth episode in this series letting you guys know all of the developments and where things stand. But as of now, if you guys are on an A12 device, which includes everything I mentioned at the beginning of this video, and you're running iOS 12.3 or 12.3.1, it is recommended that you update. Pwn actually confirmed that earlier today as well. You need to update if you're on 12.3 or 12.3.1 before the signing window for iOS 12.4 is closed because once Apple pushes out a new firmware that patches the jailbreak, they're going to stop allowing restores to 12.4, which is vulnerable. And of course, neither 12.3 nor 12.3.1 are. So if you're on either of those firmwares, you need to update. However, if you're on iOS 12.2, or lower, you should probably just stay where you're at because you're going to be supported and it's going to be much easier to actually have a jailbreak that way. The Sock Puppet exploit just has a better exploitation rate, as I've said in a number of recent videos. So that's everything. I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for episode four and of course for when the jailbreak is finally released. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.